Hey everybody, this is Debbie, and the following video will show you how to use Pilot Assist, Adaptive Cruise Control, and uh, Standard Cruise Control on Volvos. Here is the difference between the three different systems. Cruise Control only allows you to set a speed, as an example, 60 miles an hour. Adaptive Cruise Control allows you to set a speed and a following distance with the car in front. For instance, 60 miles an hour and one car length. If a car comes in front that is going slower, it will vary the speed to keep that one car length. And then the third one, Pilot Assist, will do the same thing as Adaptive Cruise Control. It maintains a speed. It will vary that speed to keep a set distance. And lastly, it uses the cameras to steer the steering wheel. You still have to keep your hands on the steering wheel, but it will help steer it for you. The steering controls on this uh, video are explained in much more detail later on, but I included this slide with a, uh, a zoom in of the main steering controls and an explanation of each button so that you can refer back to it. The main thing that I want you to take away from it is that although the steering controls are the same for both Census and Google infotainment systems, button four and five, which are the arrows on the side, only work on the Census infotainment system and are used to switch between cruise control, adaptive cruise control, and pilot assist. The indications for the system being active are in the driver display at the center at the bottom. And uh, on the pilot assist system, it will show that it is initiated by showing that a steering wheel is active. And uh, if the pilot assist with steering is active, it will be a highlighted steering wheel. And if it isn't, it will be a gray steering wheel as displayed below. Each one of the lines shown will indicate the number of car legs that have been selected. On the right hand side, it shows the difference with the adaptive cruise control. There will be no steering wheel. It will simply show a vehicle. If there is a vehicle ahead, it will show another vehicle ahead and it will show you the number of car legs selected. The census system displays very, very similar systems and the usage is also similar to the Google system. As you can see, there is not much difference in the indications. Uh, the main difference is that you would use buttons four and five, the arrow buttons to select between cruise control, adaptive cruise control and pilot assist, followed by pressing button number one to initiate. As you can see on the right hand side of the slide, uh, there are three different indications that are shown while you are selecting between the three modes. A big thank you to Volvo Cars for the use of their graphics that are shown in this slide uh, slideshow presentation. I would encourage you to go to your Google Play Store or Apple uh, Store to download the Volvo manual to know your car better. Okay, so we're about to go on a, uh, a road that is nice and straight and generally doesn't have a whole load of traffic on it. So I just wanted to explain how the pilot assist uh, system works. So to switch on or switch off the pilot assist, there is a speedometer button which you can press right there. So press it once to switch on, press it a second time to switch off. You will know the system is active because right here you will see an indication for a steering wheel and above the steering wheel there are lines and each line represents one car length. You can put the system, instead of just switching off, you can put it into standby and it will happen in standby if you accelerate the car if in, and for a minute or if you press the brakes. If you want to resume, you can press this up button here. There's a plus and a resume symbol and that's what you would press to resume. You can increase the speed by 5 miles an hour and decrease the speed by 5 miles an hour right there. And uh, in the speedometer itself, you'll see I don't know if you can see this, but there's an indication that says 27, 28. That is my actual speedometer. Above it, it says 40. That is the previous speed that I had set. And then underneath it, it says 35, which is the speed limit at the moment. And uh, so we're gonna practice each of these maneuvers. So for instance, I want to reduce speed. Right now I'm at 69. And so if I press down, it'll bring us down to 65 miles an hour. So one on the minus, bam. So that is bringing us to 65 miles an hour now at this point. 
If I want to increase speed, I press up and it now says 70 over there. And I'm going to get us once down again for 65. It currently says two car lengths with the truck in front of us here. Yeah, I'm going to make that one car length. So you press this to make it less and this to make it more. So that's one car length space uh, right over there. Okay, so now the pilot assist is on. We are about to maintain 65 miles an hour. And so it needs to feel movement on the wheel. It needs to feel pressure pushing on both sides in order for it to say somebody is there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly hold it. And so now it's not feeling any pressure. The car is doing all the steering for me. So within five uh, seconds time, it's going to give me my first warning. It's very, very sensitive. Okay, it gives me hold steering wheel. Next, it's given me audible warning. It's gonna switch off. There we go, it's switched off. Alrighty. So that's exactly what I wanted it to do. So here, if you are ever finding yourself on a really, really straight road, it may end up happening that you're not putting enough pressure on the wheel in order for it to uh, sense that you still have your hands on the wheel. Uh, so from time to time, you, you'll need to just give uh, the steering woo, steering wheel a slight shake there in order to make that uh, understand that you are still there. If you hit your settings menu like this and you hit on driving, you can see it has this option for steering assist. Right now it's on, so it means that if we activate our cruise control button, we will get pilot assist and you'll get a steering wheel showing up there. You can see that. And uh, if we switch this off, then we now have adaptive cruise control and when we activate this button, you'll get that car symbol instead. Okay, I am now going to demonstrate how adaptive control is different from uh, pilot assist. So uh, I'm gonna push the button now. Adaptive control has been activated instead of, uh, instead of pilot assist and we have 20 miles an hour. I can increase the speed, but here's what I want you to see. If you look down here, you'll notice that it's now two cars is the symbol. There's no steering wheel symbol because we have no steering guidance. Right now, I can move the steering wheel, but we have radar guided cruise control. The car is actually going to separate us for, from anything in front. So as an example, I'm gonna go up to 40 miles an hour, and you'll notice as we start getting, I'll put, uh, two car lengths and so as we start getting closer to this pickup truck in front I'm still steering but as we get closer it is going to start slowing the car down there we go it's slowing it's slowing it's slowing it's slowing where it's now right behind this it's following this truck in front of us and it's maintaining this the two car length distance now that he sped up so now it, we did too So that is the main difference between uh, pilot assist and adaptive cruise control. Uh, Thank you for watching my video today. I really appreciate your support. If you have any questions at all, please stick them in the comments section below. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the share button, and enjoy your Volvo.